Oh, oh boy! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the garage is to max capacity. Check this out. I'm talking about it is full. So we're in the workshop side of things. We do have the lawnmower in here currently that we just picked up. We got the Defender, the four-wheeler. We got the beloved icons. Let's go over into the storage side of things. And check this thing out. This X3 is so long. I know you guys haven't seen it in the garage yet, but I'm talking about it's tight. The X3 is taking up a whole row. We got the dirt bikes and the little four-wheelers and more dirt bikes. And let me tell you, we're adding something new onto the table today. We might have to do a little bit of some garage cleanup because it's getting packed. But as you guys know, I love my icons. My icons are some of my favorite machines I have. We use them a ton off camera, especially this one. This one has a dump bed and I'm telling you, we use it practically every day. It's seen some abuse. We actually got a full set of batteries for this thing. I still need to throw in it. We've been kind of rocking the old batteries and they're getting ready to go, but they're not there yet. We got the big six seater. Now we absolutely love this thing. We got the work unit. We got the six seater, but we do not have a four seater until this morning. Icon actually delivered me out a car. So uh, let's open up the door and let's go check it out. So my last Icon, my last four-seater matched the blue Duramax. So this time we got a white one to match the white Duramax. Before anybody gets all upset and mad, yes, we're getting around to the white Duramax. All the parts are in that garage. It's just it's just far down on the to-do list, okay? It, it's not, we're working on it, it's coming. But check this thing out. We got the white four-seater Icon. This thing is pretty sexy. This is a 2023 white Icon. The white lightning is what I wanna call it. Uh, we got it this morning and uh, it is absolutely absolutely sick. Now the reason I wanted a four seater, we're actually going on a beach trip soon and I'm gonna try to fit this thing inside my boat because I don't want to haul another trailer. Just, just hear me out, okay? It sounds ridiculous, but if I can get in my boat, I don't have to haul another trailer to the beach. And we'll have an icon and a boat there. Check out all the horsepower it's rocking under there, son. The four seaters, they get up and go and they get up and go in a hurry. I'm actually planning on, in this video, I want to go back to the donut pad and see if this thing will cut donuts. But check it out. As you guys know, you guys hear me preach about icon all the times these are the best golf carts for the money on the market and they come road legal check this out turn the key on we got turn signals left and right headlights a horn mirrors it's ready to roll one thing i love about icon is it actually has this flatbed back here for coolers or whatever you're storing and uh if you're not using it you can just flip it up and now you can have passengers ride on it you got more storage down there top up in the driver's seat storage right there right there cup holders and phone holders but in this video i also just want to kind of give you guys a life update because when you guys are watching this, I'm actually probably on vacation at the beach bulling around in this thing. We are going to be making a dope bow fishing video, but that'll be coming soon. We're going to go shoot stingrays and stuff, which will be super, super cool. And we'll also have this icon down there. So we might ride it around, try to do some shark fishing. It's going to be dope. But as you guys can tell, the garages are packed like I showed you. And we just got one more thing to fill it up even that much more. We're still currently waiting on getting power and water hooked up at the new property, but a lot of the stuff's going to be going to the new property. So we have a little bit of everything everywhere. That's another reason why we need this car because we need to take it to the new property. Christian body, what Sounds do you good. think of the new icon? The white's bright, dude. It is bright. <laughs> You want to take it for a ripski? Let's go. Let's get it. Holy crap. You guys have not met Dwayne yet. Dwayne? Dwayne. The Rock Johnson? The duck. Oh. <laughs> we got to go in the backyard. Let's turn around. So let's go over here to the pool. Dwayne's currently chilling in the pool. We just opened up the pool. It is uh, looking good. Dwayne, buddy, what's going on, bro? So that's Dwayne the duck. You haven't met Dwayne. No, I thought you were talking about the rock. No, that's, yeah, that's Dwayne the, the duck. Let's see if I can catch him. I don't know. If you're gonna catch the duck, Brady. I'm gonna catch the duck. If you guys remember, we had Fred. I wanna say we had Fred the last time we got the four seater icon. Mm. The blue one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And now we have Dwayne. He matches the icon. Dude, he <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dwayne. Come on, buddy. Wow. Perfect. You, you wanted him out of the pool? That's even better. No, really. Come here, Dwayne. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, this isn't. Okay. All right. Yep. Oh! <laughs> got him. All right, Dwayne. What's up, buddy? He's pretty. Dwayne is very pretty. Are you sure he's a boy? Yeah. Okay. He's a dude. So this is a uh, farm duck, and it's a super pretty farm duck. He's like, beautiful. look at the colors. I know. All right, Dwayne, you want to stand? Don't try to jump away. Oh, oh. You got it, Dwayne. <laughs> look at how pretty he is, bro. Oh. So Dwayne is a lot like Fred, except Dwayne is a lot prettier. Fred, the duck, we actually had to get rid of him. He was crapping all over the place and I didn't have the new property yet, so I couldn't take Fred to the new property, but Dwayne's going to the new property. So we'll take him and put him in the pond and uh, go feed him every day. Okay, okay. Dwayne. 
All right, buddy. Oh god. Oh I wow. To, I thought he was about to hit the concrete. Look at him. <laughs> He's showing off. He's showing off. Dwayne loves showing off. Big show off guy over there. But we actually got to take Dwayne to the new property today. I totally forgot about that. That was on the to-do list for today. But I want to go show you guys what kind of was happening with the old shop. As you guys know, last year about this time I had a concrete pad put in, and since I bought the new property, we're no longer building a shop in my backyard. So we kind of turned it into a basketball court. What you know about it, boy? Air ball. Up, three pointer. Oh shoot! <laughs> One take wonder. Right? Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> I, I would just stop, honestly. Yeah, just stop? Yeah. Like I said, guys, we turned the burnout pad slash shop pad into a uh, basketball court. Ah, it's over. What do you got? What do you got? Dang. Almost. Yep. All right, we're done with the ball. Need a little bit more practice. Hello. Oh, oh God. and oh, but if you guys remember in this video, we actually poured the concrete to this pad. We spread out all this rock and that's where all the trailers are going to be parked behind the shop. So I couldn't see the trailers from the house. And then I bought the new property. So now we just have a big fat concrete pad. So it turned into a basketball court. Pretty sweet. But now not only is it a basketball court, but it's also a donut pad, especially when it's wet. So I want to see if this icon can do donuts. Now, this is probably one of the funnest things to do in the backyard. It's like a wet trampoline, except you're riding machines. So let's see what happens. Christian, what's your prediction? I don't think it's gonna do it. You don't think so? No, nah, I don't Dude, think so. I, I think it's got it. Watch this shit. I bet it doesn't. If this does donuts, I'll be surprised. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Dang it. Ah! Maybe come in, lock up the brakes, and then try to slide it. Maybe it's too hot nowadays. I have an idea. What? SC1 on the tires. Alright. I'll keep watering the pad. You can grab SC1. SC1, SC1, SC1. Perfect. I think this is going to do it. sc one slick, dude. It makes things so slick. Still watering that concrete, man? Working on it. Think fast. Hello. You think this is actually going to do it? If this doesn't do it, then it's not going to do it. <laughs> this is like our only hope right here. This is some slick stuff. I just hope it sticks. I don't know if it's going to stick on there and stay. You ready to try it? Yeah. Woohoo! Oh. Oh! Now you're in the concrete. Dang. No! Oh! <laughs> I think it's not locking the rear end. It's not gonna do it if the rear end doesn't like lock and spin both. <laughs> Dude, it pulls like a train though. You can lock the front end and it just pulls, but I guess like the rear differential ain't sending power to both wheels. It was worth a shot. All right guys, so we're going over to the uh, the compound now. You guys haven't seen that in a long time. It's grown up, it's nasty. We've been spending so much time at the new property, we haven't had time to touch the compound over there. This is downright ridiculous. Can't even see the jumps. Holy, Holy. did we just pop a wheelie? Oh! Oh yeah, uh, why is that so steep? I don't know. We're gonna have to pop a big wheelie to get over it. Holding on? I think so. Mm, mm. The front end caught air. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, guys, tell me what you think. Should we even continue back here at the original BP compound? Like, this is the original. This grassy mess right here is like, we had so much fun in this little square area. It's downright ridiculous, but it is overgrown and nasty. And a lot of times when it gets like this, I don't record the maintenance that I do on it. You know, if I get an evening free, I'll come out here, I'll bush hog it, weed eat, so on and so forth. And then normally you do it one good time, maybe twice a year. I mean, it's, it's fine as long as you stay right riding on it. But is that something you guys would like to see? Put it down in the comments. If I see a bunch of comments, we'll make a video of uh, restoring the old BP compound. Also, tell me what you think about the white icon. This thing is an absolute tank. I already know I love it. I have a lot of experience with these golf carts and they are just straight up killer. Oh, well, we learned we cannot cut donuts on this thing and the compound is overgrown. Let's go ahead, close the garage door. But now we got to take care of our buddy, Dwayne. We got to take him to his new home. Round two, Dwayne. It's time oh. to take you to your new home. He already knows. Boy, he really does not like this net. No, Dwayne. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's taunting you now. Oh, Dwayne. Dwayne. Dwayne! It was so easy the first time. Dwayne, I'm tired of your games, bro. Maybe don't make me get in that pool, Dwayne. Oh, we got you now, bud. Good duck. Will you? Meet Dwayne. Yep, yeah, no. Not a fan. So how do you plan on driving and holding them? Put them in the back seat. All right, Dwayne, going for a ride in the truck. Get in there, bud. That's your seat, buddy. All right, cool. Dwayne's in the car seat. Get the AC blowing. Dwayne, you good? Dwayne, did you shit on my seat? Oh, he definitely shit. Are you seat. serious, bro? What is your issue today? Let's take Dwayne to his new home.
right, guys, we're rolling up on the pond. Dwayne, you good? Oh, look, there's ducks right there. Oh, yeah. There's wood ducks right there. You they're can't the see them on corner. camera. Yeah, they're all up in that brush back there. Yeah, so we got Dwayne some friends out here. Yeah, this place is a ton of wood ducks. Mergansers, geese, mallards. We've seen them all out here. Come on, Dwayne. Hey, buddy. No, don't fight it, Dwayne. Dwayne, I'm trying to have a heart to heart here. I'm gonna come visit you every day, okay? I want you to enjoy your new home, okay? Go get in the water, Dwayne. He's gonna love it. When we had Fred, Fred loved when I took him down the Garrett's pond because he'd eat all this duck wheat and stuff. And now we got the farm duck in the farm pond. Oh, oh, there, there it is. Yeah, Dwayne looks good, man. Go on, Dwayne, go swim around. It's crazy how gross this pond has gotten since we last cleaned it up during the fall. But now that summer's here, all these leaves are coming back and it does not look the best. But uh, next duck season, we're gonna have a total shootout. Dwayne, you gonna be a decoy for us, buddy? He's wagging his tail, he says, can't wait. <laughs> So I did come over here and I set up one of these corn feeders, but I had a bad battery. So we gotta put a battery in this thing. So this corn feeder, it should throw corn all the way out into the water and right up here where Dwayne could either eat it out of the water or eat it from right here. And this is also gonna attract in more ducks, more geese and whatnot. And hopefully the raccoons will stay off of this thing. So I don't want the raccoons to try to eat duck eggs whenever they start laying eggs. We gotta get Dwayne a girlfriend. Oh, that'd be cool. 20,000 <laughs> likes, we'll get Dwayne a girlfriend. Let's go ahead and hook this battery up. The cool thing about this is I'm not only feeding the ducks and the geese and everything I'm gonna wanna hunt during duck season and getting them used to coming here. Obviously, I'm not gonna be baiting deer in seasons, but it'll feed all the waterfowl that is here. Also, it'll feed our pet duck, Dwayne, and we got sunflowers planted right here and right over there for dove season. Dove season's gonna be awesome. What time is it? 419. Let's just test it, see if it works before I set all the clocks. Fingers across, hope it's not a short. Yep. We're good. It's like BB pellets. So we got one set for 6.30 a.m. Got one set for 5 p.m. Throw everything back in here. Hit that test button one more time. Okay. Make sure it works. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. This place has a ton of frogs, so we need to come frog gig it. All right, got this trail camera running. Now we can monitor all the wildlife that is using this feeder and Dwayne. I'll have to do some coyote hunting over here. A little on the nervous side for old Dwayne. What is Dwayne doing? What are you just having the time of your life, eh? He's happy. Oh. Yeah, there you go, Dwayne. Go swimming, bud. Go on. I'll be back for you. They just grow so fast, dude. Look at them. Stud. Dwayne the pimp duck. All right, Dwayne, we'll see you, bud. Oh, let's go check the sunflowers real quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be stepping in my sunflowers now. Oh, are these it? Yeah, you see them coming up? Yeah, nice, dude. These are all dude. sunflowers. Look at them. They look good. Hopefully, the sunflowers will get up and choke out those weeds. Uh, I might have to do some more spraying and hope for the best. Oh, this one's coming up good. So I had to come over here and move a burn pile and all that dirt that I moved. Dude, it's coming up great. Look at all these things. Yeah, this one's coming up even better. Look at all the green right out there. Hopefully, you guys can see that. But out there in that smooth, fresh dirt, all the way over over there and over there. Heck yeah. This dove season's gonna be a banger. Every year we struggle trying to find somewhere to dove hunt. This year I said, screw it. We're gonna have our own dove field and be able to shoot our own doves at our own property. This is gonna be lit. I'm hearing a lot of doves and seeing a lot of doves around here too. And obviously they're not eating yet, but now that I'm paying attention, there's a lot of doves in the area. So dove season's gonna be cool. Oh, now we're out here out at the building. Little update for you guys here. The electrician has put in the panel box. We're just waiting for, for power to get on the power lines over here. And then we're gonna have power, which means we'll have water because we'll get the whales going. And you know, it's just really been the biggest holdup is just waiting for the electricity to get put on the building. Because then once we do that, it should be easy to get the whales up and going and uh, you know, get all the wiring done and uh, we can get the power, water, finish this building, move the camper out here. It'll be sick. I'd still like to put a little bit more paint on this building, do one more layer and even hopefully, there goes another dub. This place is loaded. As we were driving up here, I seen five come out of these trees. I hear three more over there. Could they be picking the seeds up out of the ground that didn't, you know, come up. There goes another one. Look at all those. There went three. There goes another one. Yeah, one's landing right there, over there, over there. There's three in that tree. They're coming up out of this corn that's growing right there. There goes another one right there. He's on up in the sky. Oh, you guys can't see him. Dude, it is loaded with doves. I'm so ready for dove season. This is lit. As you guys can see, this power line runs right through these sunflowers. It is going to be game freaking over come dove season. There's another dove. Look at that one up there. You guys can probably see him. They're literally hooing everywhere right now. Crazy, bro. The whole dream is coming true boys being able to manage my own wildlife and have my own property my own hundred acres man ah i love it you hear all the doves yeah i can hear them all the hooing uh -huh. they're everywhere it's sweet i don't know why there's this many here though i've probably seen 10 to 15 doves since we pulled the truck in and i just hear them everywhere which is so abnormal i don't know what they're in here eating or doing but they're I mean they're getting after it. they're in here so once the sunflowers come up and actually put seed on the ground pfft, 
game over. Again, big shout out and thank you to Icon for hooking up that car. That thing is gonna be great. It's gonna match the building actually once we move it over here. White and white and black? Be so dope. But again, we gotta get everything done here at the new property before we can start moving machines over. And uh, it's gonna be awesome. If you guys would, smash that thumbs up button, like and subscribe, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Dwayne, we'll see you, buddy.